Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today, in this video, I will discuss the features of PLC. What is its function? How it is working? What kind of features are required when we are selecting a PLC? Therefore, you need to stay tuned with me till to the end of this video so that you can get useful information. It can help you out understand the functions of PLC. Before proceeding further in this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can get a notification for every new video. PLC is a, a programmable logic controller. The shape is uh, like this. Uh, one side is known as the input side and the other side is known as the output side. And its central part is known as the CPU, central processing unit. It consists of its memory and its main part is CPU, which is used to store its instructions, implement its instructions. It monitors the whole process. It monitors its, its whole functions. It gives instruction to the inputs, to the outputs, and the whole uh, program is controlled by this CPU. There are integrated lights. One is power light, other is run light and fault light. And uh, on the upper side, the, in this is uh, these are the lights for the input. When input X0 is on, light on the position of X0 will be on. And in the same way, this is the output side indications, which are uh, used to show the output. When the output is on, the, the here you can see the light will be on, turned on. When the output is off, the light will be off here. In the same way, its input and outputs are indicated here. This is a complete course and the pupils, those graduates, those diploma holders which are eligible for this course are electrical, electronics, instrumentation, automation. And the engineers who have their degree in e electrical, electronics, instrumentation, mechanical, and the BTEC holders, technologists are also eligible. BTEC electrical, electronics, even mechanical can also uh, take this course. They also enroll in their name in this course. This is very much important course and industrial automation is totally based on this course. Whenever you need to go to any industry, any manufacturing plant, you need to know the basics of PLC, you need to know the programming of PLC, you need to know that how the PLC is working, how the different types of uh, PLC is working, there, what is their software, how you can program a PLC, how you can uh, uh, attach its inputs and outputs. So we are going to discuss the definition of a PLC. It is a digital electronic device that uses a programmable memory to store instructions and to implement specific functions such as logic function, sequence function, timing, counting, arithmetic, and analog applications. It has a programmable memory that stores instructions and to implement such kind of uh, logics to implement such functions as logic, sequence, timing, counting, and many other functions. History of PLC, first PLC was developed by General Motors, its name was Modicon in 1968. It was in a huge size, large size, and its features were very small. It have, at that time, it had very less memory. Its IOs were very, uh, very short, very, very less, very, and its capacity feature, features and its its capacity building features are added uh, in the recent time in the in the recent times. And with the passage of time, it developed to its modern shape. Today in, in the shape we are seeing our PLCs are, are its developed form. Its size is reduced, its characteristics are more, it can handle more IOs, it can, uh, it, it has more memories and its CPU is more uh, effective than the previous one. Before PLC, we had a, a hardwire control system. Hardwire control system was used to control a sequenced function but the comparison between the those system PLC and the hardware control system is that the functions in the hardware control system are determined by its physical wiring, while the function in the PLC are uh, controlled by a program stored in the memory. In hardware system changing the function means changing the wiring. In uh, PLC system the control the control functions can be changed simply by changing the program. A hardware control system can be contact making type, relays contactors or electronic type logic circuits. And the PLC system consists of control device to which all the sensors and actuators are connected. This is a hardware system you can see there. This, this is a bunch of wires. You can't understand which wire is connected to which one other. How these wires are connected together and there is no specific way to understand this wiring and a new person who comes to troubleshoot these wiring, it is very difficult task for him to understand 
how these wires are connected how the how these wires working together there is a very complex system the hardware control system that's why it is now obsolete it is it is it is now uh, it is it is not being used it has been replaced by plc control system relay is a very important thing in plcs and it is used for switching purpose uh, it is an electromechanical device that consists of two basic components a relay coil and a relay contact the relay contact is used to switch a circuit on or off and the relay coil is used to change the state of the relay it is uh, you, you can see that this is its coil and these are its contacts when this coil is energized with the voltage and then these contacts come closer to the this this thing we, we say that this contact has been closed uh, it is normally closed contact its uh, voltage goes off then this contact goes away from this this thing then we say that the, this is normally open contact when it comes down to this position it is contact making and when it goes over it means it is contact breaking what are plc inputs L inputs are those things which we can connect at the input side of the plc it consists of push buttons switches sensors and uh, sensing in sensors these are there are a large field of sensors limit switches photo sensors proximity sensors and condition sensor pressure switches level switches temperature switches vacuum switches encoders and many other things that we can connect to the plcs these are the sensors this is a sensor this is a switch these are the push buttons and this is a uh, i think dc motor all these things can be connected to the input side of the plc plc input consists of it also has relay contacts which can be connected to the plc input proximity switches digital input devices are available in both dc as well as ac and some are voltage independent such as a switch contact analog inputs include temperature sensors transmitters current sensors voltage sensors and other that can convert a physical quantity to an electrical signal these electrical signals used for plc input are typically 4 to 20 milliampere or 1 to 5 volt dc an analog input that we want to give over plc it should be in the range of 4 to 20 milliampere if you are taking in uh, in, in the current mode if you are taking the voltage mode uh, uh, the input should be between 1 to 5 volt dc the output side of the plc consists of valves motor starters solenoid valves actuators controlled relays horns alarms stake lights fans counters pumps sprinters timers these all things can be attached to the output of the plc these are the lights this is a control valve this is a contactor i think contactor and these are the fans and these are the leds different kinds of leds that you can attach to the output side of the plc this is the once once again inputs are connected to the input side of the plc like push buttons outputs motors contactor pumps are connect, connected to the outside of the plc this is the plc which we can use for our uh, programming this is a mitsubishi plc it's this is its input side and this is its output side these are the indicator lights power light run light this is fault light or error light or these are the input lights x0 x1 x2 x3 and these are the outputs x1 x uh, y0 y1 y2 up to y7 this is its model fx3u 32 m 32 m means it can handle 32 ios input outputs it means that 32 inputs can be attached to it uh, sorry uh, it is 32 input outputs can be attached to it it means 16 input and 16 output it it can handle at a time and fx it's, it shows its series 3u it's also uh, fx 3u it's its model name which shows its series what kind of series it is and mitsubishi is the name of its uh, manufacturer it is the mitsubishi manufacturing company which makes plcs creates plcs manufactures plcs PLC voltages are normally power supply consists of it can uh, it converts uh, your line voltage 120 to 240 volt AC 
your lower DC voltage, commonly 24 volt DC. This DC voltage is then sent into the rig to power the rest of the PLC components. PLC components are operated with 24 volt DC. Therefore, when an AC power supply is connected to a PLC, then it is converted into 24 volt DC and it is given to the terminals of PLC at the input side and at the output side both. Input output modules are those modules which are connected at the input side of the PLC to extend its inputs and also output modules are connected at the output side of the PLC to, to extend its outputs. If a PLC have 8 inputs then uh, by connecting an, a module with its input side its uh, uh, inputs becomes 16. If a PLC have out, out, uh, 16, uh, 8 in outputs then after connecting an 8 output module it, its output goes to 16. Major components of a PLC are processor, programming device. Processor provides the intelligence command to the PLC and govern the activities of the entire PLC system. While programming device is a programming cable desired to program a PLC using a laptop, using a PC. It determines the sequence of operation and control the process of equipment or driven machine. PLC parts normally I already have discussed with you. Its parts are input side, output side, CPU, its memory, and its power supply. And input and on the input side we connect its inputs as I have discussed earlier. And on the output side we connect outputs like motors, solenoids, bulbs, etc. Output side connects input, output side connects output, and operator interface consists of CPU, memory, and its connecting wires, programming wires. Major components of a PLC, this is once again the same thing is here in different shape, different way. This one side is uh, known as input side and the other side is known as the output side and the, and the, and the central part is known as CPU which consists of um, power supply and uh, it also has its also has a position for programming cable, programming device and its uh, memory is also here indicated at the position of processor. There are different status indicators for PLC on its, uh, its uh, side, on its uh, shape, on its uh, rack. You can see that one uh, light indicator light is for power on, other light is for run mode and other is for programming mode and the fault mode. These are different indicators which are uh, available on the PLC. This is once again in another PLC. This is its input side, this is its CPU programming which control its programming instructions, stores the data, stores the program and this is its output side. Better interface, tough items required when working with PLC. We um, <clears throat> require different kinds of uh, uh, things when we are working with PLCs. First of all, we need to have a laptop or a computer <clears throat> on which we will make a program for the PLC and programming software every PLC have its has its own software. Mitsubishi has its own software. Siemens has its own software. Fatic has its own software. Every PLC has its own specific software. Therefore, you need, you need to have so, that specific software too. Communication cable for PLC, which is used to uh, transfer program from the your PC to your PLC. Therefore, communication cable is also very much necessary thing. PLCs are available in different size, smaller size, medium size and large size, smaller size PLCs have almost 2 kilobyte memory and it can run 128 input outputs. These PLCs are capable to provide simple to advanced level or machine controls. Medium PLCs have 32 kilobytes memory and it can govern, it can run 2048 input outputs at a time. And the large PLCs are very much costly PLCs which can handle up to 8192 input outputs and 750 kilobytes memory. It can it can control the entire plant. A single PLC, large size PLC, large size PLC can control the whole plant because it has more input outputs to connect more things, to connect the whole process, to connect the whole plant with the same PLC. Selecting a PLC, if you want to select a PLC for your industry, for your factory, you need to you need to write some things, you need to note some things for yourself, for your information. What are the inputs and outputs you require to control? What should be its memory to control its uh, programming, uh, to, 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 to store its programming? 
what kind of special input output modules do you require to extend its inputs and outputs what should be its scan time scan time is the time when an input is converted to the output it is normally 16 millisecond but you can reduce it you can uh, you can increase it too according to your plc type communications what how it will communicate it is uh, programming cable that will define that how it will communicate to your plc how it will communicate to your pc software and the software which is the specific software for every plc you need to select that software too thank you so much for watching this video